Good evening, England. My name is Conrad. And I'm Ellen. Oh, I'm getting something. I, I get it too there, Conrad. This just in. Amanda Vick is at the beheading of Sir Gawain. Hi, Go I'm Amanda Vick, and we're here live at the beheading of Gawain, who willingly gave up or accepted the challenge to give up his life to the Green Knight. Come with me now to witness the beheading that will go down in history books. So why are you doing this, Green Knight? Because he cut my head off a year ago and it was part of the deal. Wait, 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 wait! I have to ask Sir Gawain some questions first. So how are you feeling right now, Sir Gawain? Nervous, but I have to do this because of my chivalry duties. Spoken from a true knight. It's lifting the axe. It's a nick! It's a nick! It'll go down in history as just a nick! Oh, I'll interview the green knight. So why did you just nick him? Because he was at my house for six weeks and he did what I told him to. Very noble. Very noble indeed. This is Amanda Vick, live at the beheading. Back to you, Conrad. Thanks, Amanda. Wow. I might have to say that that was just surprising. That was intense. That was intense. But anyways, we have an interview from Conrad McRae's twin brother, Conrad, and he's interviewing the legendary Geoffrey Chaucer. To you, Conrad. Thanks, Amanda. I'm here with Jeffrey Chaucer. Now, Mr. Ch Chaucer, why did you want? Why did you begin to write? Because I wanted the people to know the history of England. Also, Jeffrey, why are you why are you so descriptive in describing all your characters and your stories? I thought I would show imagery in my writing uh, to show future generations how the characters look and. Oh my God! It's the wife of Bath. Oh. Wife of Bath. Wait! Hi, boys. I'm here live, right now, with the wife of Bath. So in your, your opinion, what makes you so seductive? Oh, well, you know, my classic childbearing hips, and the fact that I wear lusty scarlet red. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought you guys were interviewing me. Um, actually, they're interviewing me right now. I'm sorry, Jeffrey, she's more of an interesting story. Well, I'm Conrad McRae, standing here with the wife of Bath, and also Jeffrey Chaucer. Back to you, Amanda. Thank you, Conrad. Wow, the wife of Bath sure is damn fine, wouldn't you say so? Yes, indeedy, she is. Okay, now we're going to go to Amanda, Amanda Vick with Beowulf, the legendary hero, hero of our time. To you, Amanda. He Thank you, Conrad. Hi, I'm Amanda Vick, and we're here with Beowulf, the heroic hero who just defeated Grendel. Now tell me, Beowulf, how did you defeat such a monster? Well, it was easy. I pretty much just ripped his arm out of a socket. There you go, from Beowulf himself. So what made you so brave as to fight the hideous monster Grendel when you knew that no man could defeat him? Uh, because fate was on my side. And fate saves those for those who save themselves. Spoken by a true hero. Back to you, Conrad. Well, thanks, Amanda, for that. That was a very interesting story about Beowulf. Yes, I... Beowulf is a, a legend. It's just legendary. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Thank you for tuning in to the Medieval Times. Oh, 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 wait one second, Conrad. We have Conrad McQuay, your twin brother, live at Sir, Sir John's place. I think he's getting dumped by Bonnie Barbara Allen. To you, no, Conrad. I'm here with an exclusive. No one else has this. Sir John's palace. You look really sick. I am sick. Love sick. For I love you. You say that now? You tell me now! When, when you were drunk, you denied me! You know what? Whatever, whatever, dude. Whatever. Oh. Well, sir, folks, there's no story here. Back to you, Amanda. Wow, that that there's a sad story. It is, but that's all the time we have for tonight, England. Stay classy. Oh, for sure.